one I feel like most people don't take advantage of. Wasting money is about as fun as stubbing a cold toe. When you're developing games, trying to literally do all the things, the last thing you want to do is spend money on something you might not even use. That's why today I'm sharing the best free game tools, software, and just things I know. And this isn't just another rehash of what you've already seen. I know there's some free stuff here that you have not heard of before. So be sure to stick around until the end. Let's jump into it. First things first, Audacity. Actually, the software I'm using to record this audio. Audacity is a fantastic tool for game developers because of its powerful audio editing capabilities. It allows developers to create and manipulate sounds, perfect for customizing game audio, by the way. The intuitive interface and extensive feature set make it accessible for both beginners and experienced audio designers. Additionally, Audacity supports a wide range of file formats and has a strong community that provides tutorials and plugins. And this just makes it super easy easy if you're porting to a game engine or whatever. I literally use this software every time I make a video too. So just go download it and have fun with it. It's free. And this leads me to my most controversial take on this video probably, ChatGPT. Go use it right now. It's an invaluable resource for game developers and it has literally saved me hours of time. It can be used to create interesting dialogues between characters, help you code, or just brainstorm new ideas and concepts for your game. The only caveat is that you need to know the right questions to ask it, as well as understand what it's telling you in its responses, especially when it comes to programming and coding. Having a base knowledge of programming and coding before getting into it is very recommended. But as a language model, ChatGPT can adapt to different writing styles and it can be integrated into various platforms making it super flexible for game development again i literally use this almost every day and it's free so go check it out third on the list is piscal not sure about that name but it's an excellent free pixel art and animation tool and it's perfect for game developers it provides an intuitive platform for creating sprites and animations critical for 2d game development it is just super user friendly with its interface and real-time preview it makes it easier to visualize and fine-tuned pixel art. I've used a bunch of different pixel art creation tools over the past few years from Photoshop to Pixeki, and this is by far the easiest to use. And it's free. It also supports the export of animations to multiple formats. This ensures that it's capable with various game engines. With features like layers, frames, and color palette editor, Piscal empowers developers to craft visually appealing and dynamic game assets. Again, completely free. Go check it out. This one one might surprise a few people, but a game design document. A well-crafted game design document is essential for game developers making a game. It serves as a blueprint to outline the concepts, mechanics, art, and sound design for your game. This document helps maintain a clear vision throughout the development process and serves as a reference point to the entire team. I feel like not enough people talk about its importance because it is super important to keeping focus on the project. And it's, again, completely free. It also just helps with project management management. It makes sure that tasks and goals are well-defined and easy to follow through with. By thoroughly detailing the game's elements, a design document facilitates effective communication and collaboration through the team members. And if you're doing solo, it just helps you have a place where all your ideas lie. I'll have a few links to different design documents that I've found over the years so you can download it yourself and start using it today. On to Blender. Blender is a powerful open source 3D modeling and animation software that is invaluable to game developers. The tools it provides allows for the creation of complex 3D assets and environments. Blender also supports rigging, physics simulations, and even video editing, making it an all-in-one solution for game development. With an active community and extensive documentation, Blender is accessible for both beginners and advanced users. And like some of the others I mentioned in this list, its capability with various file formats ensures Shores seamless integration with different game engines, making it a versatile tool for 3D development with projects. Also, YouTube just supports the heck out of this thing, so if you are hung up anywhere, just you can probably find a tutorial on YouTube somewhere. Next on the list is GIMP, or some people call it GNU, Image Manipulation Program. I don't know. It's a powerful and free alternative to commercial image editing software. That's a mouthful. But it just provides developers with a wide array of tools for tasks like photo retouching, image composition, and graphic design. This would be a great alternative to something like Photoshop, whereas Photoshop, you have to pay an arm and a leg to use it. With GIMP, it's just free. And that's not to say it's lacking because of that. GIMP's versatility makes it an excellent choice 
for creating and editing game assets, including sprites, textures, and UI elements. Additionally, it supports a variety of file formats, like I mentioned, that ensures capability with popular game engines. With a dedicated community and regular updates, GIMP continues to be a reliable and accessible tool for both beginners and advanced users. Like I mentioned, if you're looking for a free alternative to Photoshop, I can't recommend GIMP enough. That leads us to GitHub. GitHub is a pivotal platform when it comes to collaborative game development. It really provides a vision control in regards to adding features. It allows developers to track changes, manage branches, and collaborate seamlessly with other team members. The ability to merge code efficiently and resolve conflicts simplifies the complex process of working on a project with multiple team members. GitHub also offers extensive issue tracking and project management tools, streamlining workflows for development teams. This is all not even mentioning that people put their projects up on GitHub for others to use. You can look up anything from player controllers to enemy movement to sword play. All of it is on GitHub and it's free to use in most cases and I just can't recommend it enough. So this takes us to the game engine part of this video. And I guess we'll start with Unity. Unity is still the leading game development engine that caters to a wide range of developers. And though the runtime fiasco happened this year, many people still use it. And I still use it myself because it just offers so much in a reasonably easy way to understand. Unity's multi-platform support ensures that your games can be developed on various devices, including desktop, mobile, and even VR platforms. You can make super complex games, but also really nice 2D games in this. It really covers the gamut when it comes to making different types of games. Also, Unity has a super strong community with extensive documentation that provides valuable resources to developers looking to expand their own sets of skills and troubleshoot issues. Not to mention that YouTube is overflowing with tutorials on things within Unity, so I do still recommend it. Now let's talk about Unreal. Unreal is a super powerful game development platform known for its high fidelity graphics graphics, and robust toolset. It provides developers with a visual scripting system called Blueprints, enabling the creation of complex game logic without extensive coding knowledge, which is a real game changer for some people. Unreal also has an advanced rendering system with realistic physics simulations that just make it a top choice for people looking to make 3D experiences. And the Blueprints visual scripting system that I mentioned earlier is super user-friendly when it comes to game development, making it super accessible for artists and programmers alike. It is really stunning when it comes to to visual effects and realistic physics. So Unreal Engine really empowers developers to create very visually impressive and highly interactive games. And the last engine that I wanted to cover was Godot, or Godot, however you want to say it. But Godot is an open source game engine that has gained a lot of popularity since the whole Unity fiasco. It is super flexible and a pretty light footprint when it comes to downloading. With it being such a small program, it still offers a comprehensive set of features for both 2D and 3D game development. It also supports a wide range of platforms including mobile devices, desktops, and web browsers. With its node-based scene system and easy-to-use editor, Godot streamlines the game development process. Its community-driven development model and extensive documentation ensure that developers have access to a wealth of resources and support. So with a few engines out of the way, I wanted to jump to asset stores. Asset stores like the Game Dev Market and the Unity Asset Store have a treasure trove of free assets that significantly enhance the game development process. From high-quality 3D models to dynamic particle effects, these assets serve as a valuable resource to developers, particularly those on a budget. They not only save time and effort in creating assets from scratch, but also provide a foundation for creativity and experimentation. And the diversity of these free assets caters to various genres and styles, ensuring developers have a wide range of options to choose from. Whether it's a ready-made character models, interactive environment designs, or sound effects, the Unity Asset Store, as well as the Game Dev Market, have free offerings that empower developers to bring their visions to life with a minimal financial investment, fostering a thriving community of creators. I use this all the time. The other day, I just downloaded a health system and it was it just worked right out of the gate. It saves so much time and more people should take advantage of it. I just can't help but get fired up about this stuff. And that leads us to our last one, and the one I feel like most people don't take advantage of, is email goodies. Developers can tap into a wealth of free software and tools by leveraging email subscriptions. Many creators and platforms offer exclusive access to valuable tools and resources in exchange for subscribing to their email list. By joining these lists, developers gain entry to a treasure trove of software ranging from specialized development environments to graphic design suites. This approach not 
only equips the developers with tools they need to excel in their own craft, but also fosters a sense of community and collaboration within the industry. On the screen here, I'll have just a few content creators that I subscribe to that I just get so much content from. If you guys have anyone, I would honestly love to see them in the comments below because honestly, I'm looking for more people because there's just so much content out there. So there you have it, my personal opinion on some of the best free content out there. Hopefully this was helpful. I love saving money, but please let me know below what software you guys use. I'd love to hear it. The indie dev journey can be a pricey one, but it does not have to be as we learned today. There's just so much good stuff out there if you're willing to take a little bit of time to look. So again, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. See ya.